in McAfee, New Jersey. 12 rounds of boxing for the North American Boxing Federation Middleweight Championship. Today's bouts are being sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the former heavyweight champion of the world, the Honorable Jersey Joe Walcott. <laughs> Commissioner and Deputy Commissioner Mr. Robert Lee. The officials assigned to ringside for this afternoon's bout are Dr. Herbert Cassidy, Chief Physician, Timekeeper Justin Bucatico, and Judging Eva Shane and Milo Savage. Counting for the knockdowns, the alternative referee, Mr. Joe Cortez, and the referee in charge of this contest, Vinny Renoni. Three men up in the corner, no more than that. When I say break, give me a backward step, break clean, resume boxing. If I put you in a neutral corner, stay in a neutral corner until I call you out. Even if I count to eight, don't come out unless I call you out. Three knockdowns is way through. my discretion, let a fight continue. You understand that? If you go down at the end of the bell, the count will continue other than the last round. Okay? Shake hands and good luck. And watch the apron, it's short. Listen to me. The apron is short. When you back step, you'll go off it. Be careful. Good luck. Right? Good luck. Sugar Ray Seals has won his last six fights, his last bout of September, a third round knockout. Seals a very cagey southpaw, likes to jab and move. And the introduction of James Schuler. Record of 14-0, 13 by knockout. He can bang, he can box. Times can be a non-stop puncher, blue very blue strong. Weighing in at 160 And his problem today to solve the southpaw style from Tacoma, Washington, of this man, Sugar Ray Seals. Middleweight champion with a record of 56 wins and 7 losses. The 1972 Olympic gold medalist, Sugar Ray Seals. There have been a number of records credited to Sugar Ray Seals. You heard on the uh, public address, 56 wins. We have them for 53, that according to the promoter. A discrepancy in the age of Seals. In fact, Ferdy, he has a birthday three different months at last count. He said his birthday was in July. His manager said September. The promoter said November. But he says he's 30. Well, he got that from the banking uh, institutions who believe in sliding scales for mortgages. This is sliding scales for birthdays. They are both tall middleweights at six foot one. Seals with a mountain of experience with 400 fights, 400 plus fights, a left-hander. Came in sweating, came in real hot, ready to go. Seals came in, not a drop of sweat on him. The question concerning Seals is what does he have left? Must look to avoid getting hit with early bombs by Schuler. Seals has fought Marvin Hagler on two occasions. He was knocked out of the first round up in New England and uh, fought Hagler to a controversial draw in the state of Washington, his home state. Hagler does not like Sugar Ray Seals, not a great fan. I would think he would love him after beating him twice. He'd just be sharpening his teeth for him the third time. Right now, Young Shuler's landing a right hand right on the button every time he throws it. I don't know how much of that uh, the veteran Sugar Ray Seals will take. He better adjust something because that right hand is right in there. Midway point. Round one, and James Schuler on the attack. They've been warned about the shortness of this ring apron. The ring apron comes almost level with the ropes, and when Seals fights along the ropes, his foot is just about dangling over the edge. He'll slip, as we've seen numerous slips earlier today by uh, preliminary fighters. Bring out the miss. Right now, Schuler on the attack. Schuler's round. He's youth and impetuousness is taking this uh, first round easily. Schuler's last bout, third round knockout of 
Adriana in Atlantic City. Shula happy to have that success with the right hand has suddenly gone right hand happy. Right there, right there. Right there, Jack. Tough body blows being landed by Shula who tried to go up high. Seals like a good KG veteran is going to see what this kid's got, but he's finding out unfortunately and painfully. And coming up to 10 seconds left in this opening round, and a strong opening for the 23-year-old out of Philadelphia, James Shuler. Look at the small apron area that you referred to uh, during the course of round one, and that could be very dangerous. Very dangerous because their feet are virtually, the heel is virtually dangling over that, and if they ever take a slip through the ropes, it'll be head first, four feet onto this carpeted surface, or onto our laps if they're fortunate. Good opening round for the youngster, James Schuler going up against uh, the veteran, Sugar Ray Seals. Seals is the North American Boxing Federation middleweight champion. This is his first title defense. And and that this is a NABF title fight. It is scored on the 10-point must system. However, we can go to sudden death, similar to the rules of the United States Boxing Association, for a title fight. It's scheduled for 12. If it is even after 12, they would go sudden death rounds for the possibility of three additional up to 15 rounds. That's kind of confusing. You want to say that again, Mark? No. I don't think there's going to be a draw here. These two guys are going to go at it. Right now, Seals has found a little bit of offensive uh, spirit in this corner. Jackie uh, McCoy, who's worked with five world champions for the first time working with Seals, very calmly saying, well, you blew that first run. Now let's come back and take the second. Uppercuts landed by Shuler on Seals. And he stung Seals. He hurt him. As that right hand that Black Gold is putting in, he just seems to have found the target with the right hand. Seals buckled, ripping, and trying to cover up. Punch and left by Seals getting. We just, just that moment. And just that moment, James Schuler stuck his foot out the ring and got caught, just as we were saying it. That it's going to be a treacherous uh, factor in this fight. As they get along the rope, both fighters will be aware of it, and their mind will wander. Good combination by Seals. Seals in the black trunks with the red stripe, and Schuler in the black with the white stripe. As we approach 30 seconds remaining in the second round. Right hand, right on, thrown by Schuler. Seals came alive in that corner, and as he was chasing Schuler, Schuler had sort of a bewildered expression. Two good hooks in a row by Schuler. I think the key to this is going to be if, if Seals can pressure uh, Schuler into going back. He seemed confused when he was being pressed, pressured. And with final seconds, second round will be back after these words. Back in McAfee, New Jersey, Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. This is round three, and the fight doctor scorecard has it even. James Schuler in the black with the white stripe, and Sugar Ray Seals in the black with the red stripe. And there is Joe Frazier, who has a connection with the James Schuler on his way home from high school one day. Schuler and two of his brothers passed by Joe Frazier's gym as Joe was training. They walked in, immediately got hooked on boxing. Schuler returned the next day and began working out, and Frazier took him under his wing, and for a spell, he managed James Schuler. Joe Frazier, a great heavyweight champion. I never saw him give less than 100% in any fight, including that great one in Manila with Muhammad Ali. Both Schuler and Seals with distinguished amateur career. Seals, winner of the gold in the 1972 Olympics in Munich. James Schuler, a member of the United States Olympic team in 1980, the team that did not go to Moscow. <laughs> Schuler 
being told in his corner, your younger, uh oh, a cut, a cut on the corner of Shula's eye, and it looks bloody right now. Left eye, left eye is cut. They bumped heads, and they bumped heads hard. But the only one that came out with a cut was Schuler. Bad luck for this youngster right at the beginning of a 12-round bout. Past the halfway mark, round three. Well, we'll see how he reacts to the sight of his own blood. Just last week, James Green did not react well when he saw his own blood. He was fighting Adam Fletcher. But this is a very important fight for Schuler, and blood is streaming down the eye of Schuler. Apparently, it is affecting his vision. He's blinking, and the veteran is not giving him any mercy. He's pushing him right to the corner. Yeah, he's trying to cover up for the photo. He appears to have uh, lost vision in the left eye. He's angling himself to try to get a look through the right eye. And, and because not only is it no uh, ring apron, but the ropes are very loose here. The ropes did not fit this ring. It's going to be hazardous along the ropes if he collapses on the ropes. Shula definitely fighting a retreating, confused, sort of waiting it out, get to the corner and hear what everybody's got to say. Round as uh, the veteran is prepares between rounds three and four with the uh, Shooter's eye attended to by the uh, cut man, Percy Richardson. The unflappable and ubiquitous Percy Richardson, who is making a big living for himself as a great cut man here in New Jersey. He's got some good anticoagulant stuff that he applies. Uh, I won't go into it professionally, but it is an excellent coagulant and a legitimate and legal, obviously. And he's doing a good, good job. We'll see what happens this round, whether it opens, whether it bleeds. Ballots vote by Seals, and Schuler back with the uh, combination. Is stuff a medical term, Ferdy? Yeah, stuff is uh, one of the higher terms uh, in the Lancet, uh, English publication. <laughs> Schuler's been told, listen, you got to pick this up. Your eye is really cut, and you've got to get out there and outspeed him, outslick him. He's old. You're faster. Well, he's certainly trying to do that now. Seals is said to be 30 years old, but there is a, a question about that. He's listed at 30. Out of Tacoma, Washington, born in the Virgin Islands. Record of 53 and 7. And three draws going up against the unbeaten 23-year-old James Schuler. And I wonder how many veterans of that sad and lamentable 1972 Olympics in Munich are cheering him on. Sitting at home saying, that could be me. I could still be out there running track. I could still be shooting basketball. And here is Seals putting a beating right now on Schuler. He is ahead two rounds to one. He's looking at that cut like it's money in the bank. And now Schuler up on his toes for the first time. And it is Seals doing the pursuing. Under a minute less, round four. Todd Halbert and the fight doctor, Cody Pacheco from McAbee, New Jersey. More boxing tomorrow here on NBC, a sports special getting underway at 1 o'clock Eastern Time, featuring middleweights Mark Frazee and Dwight Tiger Walker. That's a rematch of the Low Blow Festival that uh, we telecast. Let's go, let's go. That was stuck. That was back in May when referee Arthur Mercati disqualified Walker for repeatedly administering low blows. So now we've got the fighters back again, but a new referee. We've got Larry Hazard now, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what'll happen tomorrow. But right now, maximum interest is Shula is trying to outspeed and outslick the veteran, and the veteran will not be outslicked. That will wrap it for this fourth round. And this is round five, Sugar Ray Seals coming out. The man, Marvin Hagler, labeled a big mouth with a big gold medal and two-tone shoes. As I mentioned earlier, Hagler not a great fan of Seals. He knocked out Seals in one round, and then they fought a disputed draw. And James Schuler 
now bleeding from the left eye. Looked like they had patched it earlier, Ferdy, but uh, he has a problem once again. Yeah, I didn't think he had enough time that time. Something went wrong, and they did not have enough time to attend it. Um, in the sec in the previous round, it did not bleed at all. All of a sudden, it started to bleed before it even got hit here. What is the fight, Doctor? I've got this either McCoy in the corner. This last time captured what I just felt about this fight. As long as Seals is on the attack, he's taken around. As long as he goes on defense, Shula takes around, and therefore we've seen it two to two. He's right. His fight is all on the attack. Seals was stung by Schuler over the first two rounds, but come back strong, encouraged by the cut that was suffered by Schuler. So far, no doctor's been in there to look at it, but when the doctor comes, we'll be interesting to see how Schuler reacts to uh, a strange figure looking at him and the ominous threat that it may be stopped at any moment. Of course, this is a heck of a pace for that old body, whatever that is, 30, 31, 29, whatever it is. It is some kind of a pace after 400 fights to maintain, and we know Shula can go the whole run. So it... Good combination by Shuler, who has never been stopped throughout a long amateur career, 173 bouts. This is 15th fight as a professional. And unloading on Seals again. Shula with devastating punches. Devastating punches that are rocking Seals, but Steels is still there. James Schuler in the black trunks with white stripes. Sugar Ray Seals in the black trunks with the red stripes. And a big round for Schuler, who has come on after having difficulty with Seals the last couple of rounds. Again, now the cat and mouse game. Shula knows he's ahead in this round. If he can just finish up good, he'll take the round. He cannot fritter it away. Back to the ropes. Those ropes are too loose. The apron too short. He's got to get away from there. And following the last three rounds, both Seals and Shuler have been guilty of late hits after the bell. Let's see what happens right here. Both corners have been angered by the late hits. Let's see. They're telling him uppercuts, uppercuts. That's what you need, uppercuts here. McCoy on the other corner saying, don't wait. Just go get this kid or else he's going to kill you on the attack. Now here's the ubiquitous um, corner man, Percy Richardson. If he works on any more corners, I'm going to put him in for an honorary doctor's degree from the AMA. I've never seen a guy every weekend he shows up on somebody's corner working and fights. The man's a surgeon. And round six underway. Schuler just eking out a slight edge in the scoring. But in a fight this close, we hesitate. You do not hesitate to say it could be anybody's fight right now. This is scheduled for 12. And that is a North American Boxing Federation Championship bout. Which, oh, right hand by Schuler. Did not get full impact on it. He's trying to really on the off on Seals and maybe taking some chances. I wonder when he was going back to that right hand goal that he'd found so comforting in that first round because he landed right hand uppercuts, right hooks, straight rights. He's doing it again now. He's going right hand happy again. I started to say this could go overtime, so to speak, if the scoring is even. At the end of 12, they would have sudden death rounds. The possibility of three additional to determine the winner. I'll be at one at a time. Seals now on the attack. Good uppercut landed by Seals. Oh, oh watch out. He threw himself through the ropes. That's the kind of thing we were talking about. If he went all the way through, he has nowhere to land except three feet down on the hard concrete. And once again, the cut. The left eye of James Schuler has opened. 
the action seesawing back and forth. Neither man can take a distinct advantage over the other. Neither man can control the floor of the fight. Just when one is getting the upper hand, the other one takes over. And we're under a minute remaining in this sixth round. Sugar Ray Seal and James Schuler involved in a slugfest. Now, Schuler says he can't pay attention when his opponent is not that good, and his mind wanders. I can just imagine that his mind is razor sharp today because he is facing the best guy he's ever played, and it's even. Good uppercut to set up for right. And Schuler had his mouthpiece knocked out by Schuler. Good action. Two punches he should have put down seals. I cannot imagine two better landed punches, and he didn't go. And the final second, round six. We welcome you back to Maccabee, New Jersey, as round seven gets underway. Let's go listen in on the corner of James Schuler. You must put them together. Very good. Catching on, Doc. Catching on. Ooh, that's right. All right, combination. Combination, that's what you have to do. Combinations, that's uh, exactly what Sugar Ray Seals felt at the end of that round as a perfect one-two bounced off his chin. And I got to think this guy's got granite in his chin. I thought Adamo Fletcher could take a punch, but those two should have taken him right out. Sixth round, an excellent action round with Schuler rocking Seals. Seals looking good earlier in the round. How do you score it to this point? Uh, to this point, I have got James Schuler ahead, especially that last round where things started to really turn around for him. But Seals by no means laying down. Schuler not connecting with those uppercuts. Oh, look at that. Look at the use of the head by Schuler. Sh I mean, by, excuse me, by uh, Seals. Seals has got his head all over Schuler's face. He's getting a Brillo bat in the face, and it's opening that cut again. That's what a veteran will do to you. That's been the major factor, the cut and the eye of James Schuler, who is now looking to go up on his toes, as is Seals. Now well, Seals is chasing him. That doesn't help. That doesn't help on points because Seals will build up points being the presser if the round is even as most rounds have been. Oh. Renoni warning about the holding. Seals has been holding and hitting. After such a blazing round as Schuler put on last round, he looks like he's coasting and resting. He's he looks like he's trying to get his strength back together. Oh, another good hook. Good left. Another good hook. Oh, those are the kind that tire a young fighter out. The ones that miss like that. Remember, compared to Sugar Ray Seals, James Schuler is a baby. In this tough, tough professional boxing. And a matchup of former Olympians. Sugar Ray Seals taking a goal in Munich. In 1972, Schuler, a member of the U.S. Olympic team in 1980. And this is where experience comes in, as Seals pacing himself for a final blast. Is Schuler fighting without any pacing, his thought of control, and just fighting every round? We'll know as these rounds go down to 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Championship out. Oh, a great punch. Looked like it got Seals in trouble. And coming up on the end of the round, we'll be right back. Put them together. Uh, you can't just hit him with one punch. When you're on the side, you gotta fire. The body all upstairs. Okay? You can't miss him, he's there. Okay? Everything's up the Get off first, you understand, James? Come on now. Let's go. Corner of James Schuler. Big blob of grease on there. I don't know if the referee is gonna allow that. And this is round eight, scheduled for 12. Renoni apparently. Content with that big blob of grease that's on the side. Well, the first punch will wipe it out. I think it already did. It did. It fell off with the first punch. 
advice very good. Advice, be first. Get off first. You're younger, you're stronger. Get off first. He didn't, and he lost the round, and now we're pulling up even again. Shooter's still ahead, but by a slim margin. Good left hand by Seals, who had walked in to a shooter. A combination by Shuler. Shuler benefiting from that rest. He's back on the attack. Back on the warpath. We have had no knockdowns for this point. Seals has been rocked several times. Highly animated ring sounds from the corner. He's got the whole list of the young kids there hollering for Shula, his brother included, wearing the gold medal. Hollering for him. James is one of eight children, five boys, three girls, so much support here in Maccabee, New Jersey. Good left hand again by Schuler. Followed up with the right. Oh, right hand by Schuler. Four straight, five straight, six straight uppercuts. to the end to wonder what do I have to do to put this guy down. And there's Seal still fighting. That is an amazing display of toughness and chin strength. That right uppercut that he found so profitable all through the fight paid off for him. Sure looks like he exhausts himself when he goes on one of those rampages and he's no good for the rest of the round. But then how much can Seals have left? Seals just hanging in by pity patting with Shula. No strength whatsoever in those punches by Seals, but he's getting them off. Indicating he's still fighting. Tremendous barrage by James Shuler in this eighth round, but Sugar Ray Seals remains on his feet. And this is round nine. James Shuler coming out. A tremendous barrage by Shuler back in round eight, although Seals was able to uh, hang in despite the right hand and the left hand, although in the corner of Shooter, they say, gotta put them together, let's see combination. And we saw the combination, Seals on the way down, saved by the ropes. The ropes are very loose, he may fall right through there. Overs went down this man defies the laws of gravity. Schuler looking to put Seals down now. Seals looks about ready to go. That middle strand is very loose. If he buckles under there, he'll come right through. Oh my God, what a warrior. Had it gone by. Well done. Dr. Scorecard, Schuler has pulled in front. We had two particular action rounds, round six and eight. In round six, good exchanges, but round eight was all James Schuler. Well, I thought we'd seen the maximum action fight with James Green and Animal Fletcher last week on NBC, but this is coming close to intensity and ferocity. Sales off balance. Seals having trouble with his legs, an old veteran, his legs are going first and they cannot work together. If Shula would could sustain an attack, it could be all over now. Quite a recovery for Shula despite uh, the eye problem. Well, the administrations of Percy Richardson's magic potion have closed that cut. Once again, a superb job by the corner. Percy Richardson. Again, a combination by Shuler. 
Schuler just able to sharp shoot and pick those beautiful left to right. Oh, what a hook. Left hook right on the button. Another hook on the button. And Seals again looking very, very rocky. He buckled for the third time this bout. But has not gone down. The rope saved him earlier this time round. And somehow he's able to throw some punches. Oh, and a combination by Shula. Oh, a right hand by Shula. He is taking a beating. But he keeps punching back. The referee can't stop it because he keeps fighting back. Final circus. And this is round 10. Once again in round 9, James Shuler nearly put down Sugar Ray Seal as Seals took a beating. In fact, in the corner between rounds, the conversation in Seals' corner concerned the possibility of stopping the bout. The corner men are worried he's taking too much of a beating, and while he's got the heart of a lion, still, he has taken a bad beating. The manager said, you've taken his best shot, now you come on. Brave words from the manager, but I think the corner men have the right idea. He's got to think of stopping this pretty soon. Almost collapses him. James Schuler with a triple right, just loading up, throwing bombs. Ranoni keeping a very sharp eye on the reflexes of Seals, because although he's fighting back, the shots that he's taking are phenomenal. They're right on target and with all the strength that Schuler can muster. Schuler showing us uh, great power in that he has not punched himself out. Finely conditioned athlete and the adrenaline is pumping as he sees his veteran about to go. Oh, oh devastating oh. right hand and again Seals looking like he's going to go. Renoni can't help but stop this pretty soon, folks. He cannot help but stop this. Past the halfway mark, tenth round, and Seals is just being beaten up. He is so far behind, he can't catch up. He's certainly not going to knock out Shula, and the beating he's taken is awesome. Think he should stop it, Bertie? Yes, I do. I, I do. I don't believe he should continue. I don't believe his corner. If his corner lets him come out between rounds, something's wrong. Because Jackie McCoy does not let his fighters take beatings. Well, we thought that uh, last week's Green Fletcher bout was not stopped. Oh, Shula got hurt. Seals connected with the left hand. Last week, James Green took a whooping from Frank the Animal Fletcher. And right here, Sugar Ray Seals looking to battle back. But he looks like he's about to fall, and he still has not gone down. He looks like a deck of cards just waiting for a slight breeze to put him down. But you see, Renoni's problem is he fights back. And while you're fighting, that's the rules of the ring. You, as a humanitarian in the corner, I must say, I'd stop it. I'm sorry, but he's taking too much of a beat. He can't win. And we're final seconds. Round 10. Sugar Ray Seals, who right. has taken a pounding. Well, more than one movie has shown a guy taking a pounding and coming back, but it is in the movie world, not in the real world. Very few come back from beatings like that, but you got this young kid over there. He's going past 10 for the first time in his life. He's way ahead. And this is round 11. Scheduled for 12. The Southpaw, Sugar Ray Seals, listed as 30 years old out of Tacoma, Washington, born in the Virgin Islands, going up against James Shuler, looking very confident again up on his toes. Shuler, 23 years old, out of Philadelphia, record of 14-0, 13 by knockout, but here's Seals, oh, he's so off balance, and obviously so little left in the legs, he nearly put himself through the road. He has nothing left, he can't control his legs. I don't know uh, what the uh, instruction was for Schuler. The instructions might have been to stay away from him, dance, let him wear out, and not punch yourself out. But, uh... 
Rios fighting from memory. The reflexive punches that he's throwing, no strength in him. Shula, in the meantime, has got a machine gun going. A pinpoint accuracy punches. And that is Shula's style. At times, not stop puncher, very strong. He can bang and can box. But he's been doing most of the banking here this afternoon. Sugar Ray Seals, never off his feet. Watch out! Sad end to a great long all right, all right. career starting in the Olympics and going all the way to now. A man who never quit, Sugar Ray Seals, is not quitting today. I just asked Jackie McCoy in the corner, are you going to stop this between rounds? He sort of gave a shrug, and he said, it's not my fighter. I'm just working in the corner and shrugged again rather really helplessly. This is the uh, first slowdown we've had of the bout in several rounds. I don't think there's a person in this auditorium that would complain if they stopped this fight. Yes, it's a tough sport. Yes, you should hang in there, but not unnecessarily. Watch out. Let's go. We have not had a knockdown, although on two occasions, all seals try to unload the left hand. Seals nearly went down a couple of times, saved by the ropes. The ropes, which are very, very loose. I, I think Shula is just saving himself for a big last round turn on of the gas. Because this round, he has really loped away. He's just rested and got himself together. Good combination. Mike Shula followed up by the left hand. And Shula unloading again in the final second of round 11. Will be McAfee, New Jersey. Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, as yes, we look in. On the corner of Sugar Ray Seals, and the referee, Vinny Renoni, just said, don't cut the gloves off the fighter, because should this be considered a draw after 12, which is unlikely, although one never knows when it comes to scoring, but this, just all James Shuler, but in the rules, since it is a North American Boxing Federation title fight, with Sugar Ray Seals holding that title, it would go sudden death. The additional rounds should it be ruled a draw. I think it's kind of a sad commentary for her to watch. Uh, obviously part of the sport, but uh, here's one man just taking a vicious beating. Yes, I, I really don't. You know, you, you can argue about it all night long. Look, the guy's got a chance till he's knocked out. But it's academic. Uh, he is at the end of his career. He's taking this kind of a beating from a youngster who could obviously step on the gas and really hurt him now. No point in it. I mean, I just don't see the point in it. Sure, in terrific shape. He's got a, a very, very aggressive 12 rounds, and he is an outstanding all-around athlete, a graduate of Benjamin Franklin High School in Philadelphia, a member of the school's cross-country and swimming team. And under the tutelage of Joe Frazier, emerged as a quality boxer on the way up, looking to make it 15-0. For those of us who want to stop, there are plenty of people that say, look, he's fighting back. This is still the 12th round, and he's still fighting back. He's a punching bag. He is a punching bag. Shula, I think, mercifully has been called off by his corner because he's not sustaining a big attack. He's just sort of cruising, winning the round, staying uh, off of him pretty much. He, he has not gone through that heavy attack of his. Shula's exhausted also. That does not say he's a fresh daisy. He is exhausted. But this is the first time the youngster has been to 12. He is so comfortable ahead that uh, Seals would need a shotgun to win this fight. And possibly in the corner, they said, don't inflict any more big punishment. Let's just cruise to the title. And we're under a minute left. 
in what will be the 12th and final round. Curiously, this fight peaked around about the ninth or 10th and has gone downhill. And once again, and for the last time, credit to the great corner work of Percy Richardson, who closed that bad cut at the beginning and allowed this youngster to fight with relative impunity. And a major step for James Schuler, and that this is the first quote, need opponent that he has got against the Sugar Ray Seals. Some technical problems uh, at this point. As we go final seconds, round 12, and this bout is all over. And what should be a decisive victory for the youngster, James Schuler over Sugar Ray Seals. We'll be back in a moment. Back in McAvee, New Jersey. Again, we apologize for the technical difficulties during the course of the 12th 12th round and we are awaiting the decision and as mentioned earlier what should be a decisive victory for James Schuler over Sugar Ray Seals the scorecards are being collected the scoring in this North American Boxing Federation middleweight title fight on the 10 point must system and it's handled by the referee of Vinnie Ranoni and the judges Eva Shane and Milo Savage as you take a look at the final seconds of round 12, two particularly uh, big rounds for James Schuler, round six, although Seals did uh, hang in during the course of round six and round eight, where it appeared that uh, Sugar Ray was uh, on the way down. He was saved by the ropes and no knockdowns in the bout, although it appeared several times that Seals was heading to the canvas. All right, we're set for the decision, so Let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Milo Savage scores the fight 117-112. Referee Vinny Renoni scores the fight 118-101. Judge Eva Shane scores the fight 119-110. We have a unanimous decision. The new North American Boxing Federation champion, James Schuler. James Schuler with an important career victory over the veteran Sugar Ray Seals. So Schuler now 15 and 0. And for the 23-year-old out of Philadelphia. A one-time Olympian, a member of the United States uh, Olympic boxing team in 1980. National Golden Gloves middleweight champ in 1980. Won the gold in the World Cup, a silver in the Pan Am Games in 1979. A victory that uh, should project him to bouts against other top quality uh, fighters. For Sugar Ray Seals, you have to wonder about where his career is going at 30 years of age, perhaps uh, more. That is a point of discussion. Fruity's all set in the ring, so let's go to the fight doctor and James Shooter. You know, in the 10th round, you were, had him completely out. It looks like you lighten up in the 11th and 12th. Did you feel a little compassion? Did you feel sorry for this veteran at the end? Well, he caught me, Doc, and I felt that it was really sorry because I didn't want to keep hitting him like that, even though I caught him a few cuts, but he got me with a big one. But anyway, it was a good fight. He's a true champion, and I hope to be one someday, too. Better and more conditioned. Well, worst of all, I'd like to say hi to, to the doctor. And everybody back home. All right. Rabbi in hospital. And a big thanks to Percy Richardson, I'm sure. Okay. And back to Dr. Marv Albert at ringside. Two weeks ago on CBS, is currently ranked number one. All three of those boxers and others in the welterweight division awaiting November 9th when our Sugar Ray Leonard will tell the world, is he going to defend? Is he going to retire? And uh, these are the three top prospects in the division. Today you'll see Curry and Starling when we return. We are back.